I said this earlier that 2014 was a pivotal year in my life. That's when things started crashing. I humbled myself, resources. I turned to the Veterans Administration and that's when I began to turn it all around. We're talking about counseling, we're talking about psychiatry classes, we're talking about therapy. No medicine, even though they try. I'm not going with that. I mean, I have my own medicine. Journaling, uh, using electronic affirmations. I talk a lot about these tools and these life hacks in my videos on my YouTube channel. A lot of self-talk, lots of self-talk, conversations in front of the mirror, but in particular, journaling. Journaling and changing the way that I spoke to myself, that is what really helped me from the next level to the next level. And I practice this every day. Of course, health and looking after my body, changing the water that I was drinking. All of these things you would think, they, did these things actually contribute to your transformation? I didn't know about anything. I didn't know, I really did not know about any of these things up until 2015, 2016, 2017. Um, yeah, it was, it was a dark period, but it was a transition. Wow. By the way, Melissa, in your book, Melissa wrote this. I don't know if I've met Melissa. This is a great book. It really helped me and changed my life. I am so blessed to have stumbled upon this great read. That's interesting about 2014 and, and the experience that you went through. I can imagine the shame, the, the torture that goes on inside the mind, the torture chamber at night or early in the morning or even during the day that goes on in the mind like that. You're going through all this turmoil, gambling, and you didn't quit in 2014. You couldn't have. You struggled through 2014. I've heard and I've seen some of your videos where you say it just got less and less and less. I'm kind of curious to really kind of pinpoint, can we pinpoint what truly was it that really benefited you the most? I know God's grace was involved in all of this, but I'm wondering what really was, you know, a decision, you made a decision, a real decision, even though there was a story I read about a man that became a millionaire. And he, he be, when he was a millionaire, someone asked him, when did you become a millionaire? And he said, when I was laying on the park bench, when I was homeless. In his mind, he was already there. Maybe you were already there in 2014. You just didn't know it. All right. Um, what have you achieved? What have, what, have, what have you achieved since 2014? I know you've written a couple of books. And I know that if it's taken you, you got another book. I know that it's taken you quite a few years to get these books. So tell us a little bit more about your achievements. Yeah, well, 2014 was the benchmark for me. I've been working on myself ever since, just practicing things that I've learned from others, from the Bible, in particular the Bible, Anthony Robbins, Zig Ziglar, uh, Brian Tracy, Jim Rohn, Dan Graciosi, and many, many others. So I've been able to develop my own YouTube channel, which is expanding internationally. And most importantly, I've gotten peace. I've gotten peace in my heart. I've been able to fix the financial sector, if you know what I mean. I've been able to really, ever since that breakthrough, something happened to me. I began to experience other breakthroughs inside my own mind, overcoming traumas that I didn't even know were there, traumas trauma. So uh, we're working on digital programs, digital boot camps, digital videos where people can actually enjoy uh, some of this experience to change, to inspire, to be motivated for change. My videos will never be perfect. My programs will never be perfect. Neither will be my books. But I've been able, we're working on this book here, Life's uh, Three Important Questions. We're working on that one. That one should, should be coming out soon. We're still working on this one right now. This one's already out at Amazon, so we've been doing that. Again, uh, soldiersofselfmastery.com. Soldiersofselfmastery.com is the website, the latest version of the Little Red Book. And a little book that we co-authored with some nuggets for people that are interested in helping others, you know, counseling, coaching type stuff. I believe this book is still at Barnes and Nobles. And we're, again, we're working on improving what we have and focusing on what we have, right? Just showing you on the other side that you can focus on what it is that you have to develop to distract you from what you need to be distracted from. You've got the genius, you've got the, it's all inside you. You just may have not unleashed it yet. I've just found ways to do that and I'm gonna keep doing it and I'm enjoying life. Uh, PNGZ, permanent no gambling zone. I've taken it out. It's been severed from my life. And again, 
let me mention something here. In my childhood, it was my brother, my sister, and I. It was three of us. I don't remember my sister a lot. For some reason, she's very distant in my childhood. The closest one that I'm really with is my brother because I learned some things from him too. Anyhow, uh, life is much better. And I've built a community to support you on the other side. I built a community. We are permanent no gambling zone. We are peacekeepers, peace builders. I'm gonna be the partner to many if they choose to make a decision. We've got our last and final question for Coach Santos, the author of all of these wonderful little books, co-author also. Hope you're enjoying the uh, interview. This is the last question. What is your ongoing mission plan? What, what, what do you, where do you go from here? Well, I can tell you, I'm truly excited for what's happened. In particular, I've become completely free from gambling, completely, totally, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically, uh, cellular, uh, bone free. And I didn't have that back before 2014, 2013, I didn't have that. So I've become more creative and I've learned a few things about me through this journey. I've learned how to build value. I've learned how to really know my likes and my dislikes. I've learned how to become creative. I say this to myself every day. I can, I will, I do, I am. Your good life is gonna come out of a good series of good, constant, positive reminders. Train your brain so that your brain will train you. And there will always be room for improvement within room for improvement. So it's all about building upon what we built upon, right? Building what I've been building upon, changing and doing my best to get the word out to you. If you're a struggling gambler, businessman, whoever you are out there, and you're catching these interviews. Make sure you soldier scribe, make sure you get the book, make sure you start journaling, and make sure you start doing some electronic affirmations for yourself.